Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to the March 24th City of Janesville COVID-19 Community Briefing. My name is Dwayne Cherrick, and I'm the Planning Section Chief for this operational period. We'll begin this morning with a review of our incident objectives. First, safeguard the community, including our residents, businesses, and visitors. Second, deter the spread of COVID-19 within our capabilities. Third, provide essential services to the community. And fourth, safeguard City of Janesville employees and preserve our city service power. We'll now hear from other members of our EOC leadership team, beginning with Operations Chief Cameron Nash. Good morning, Cameron Nash, Operations Section Chief. The City EOC is maintaining a level two activation. No additional reductions in non-essential city functions have been implemented since the last operational period. Each city department division and office is performing essential functions with sufficient staffing. Thank you. Thank you, Cameron. Next, we'll hear from Situation Unit Leader, Maggie Dar. Thank you, Duane, and good morning. I'm Maggie Zara, the Situation Unit Leader for this event. Currently, as of uh, yesterday, Monday, March 23rd, there were 416 cases of uh, COVID-19 in the state of Wisconsin and three in Rock County. City staff continues to monitor our staffing levels. As of yesterday, we had uh, just under 11 people, 11% 11 of our employees working remotely. And obviously there's a lot of areas in the city where that's not an option. We continue to monitor our personal protective equipment or PPE levels. We're using the resources that are available to us to make sure our, our um, staff is prepared. And we're also contacting our legislators to see what they can do to help with any shortfalls. Um, one service update, Hedberg Public Library is no longer offering curbside pickup and their drop boxes are closed. So you may keep your library materials until we return to normalcy and the library reopens. Just keep your materials. Um, we continue to keep in contact with the hospitals, uh, Rock County EOC, and all of our other partners to ensure a coordinated response to this uh, event facing our community. And finally, uh, we are all affected by this, this outbreak, but there's some in our community that are more affected than others. Yesterday, the United Way Blackhawk region announced a COVID-19 action fund well, they're, where they are raising money from people who can uh, afford to give, and they will be um, distributing that to nonprofit agencies in the community who have been disproportionately affected by this, whether by demand for services increasing or their um, revenue to provide those services is unstable. So if you're at home and you want to know how to help, consider going to the United Way's website and giving to their fund. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. Now we'll hear from Logistics Chief Mike Payne. Good morning, Mike Payne, Logistics Section Chief. Logistics continues to procure and coordinate the distribution of PPE based on uh, department, division, and office head requests. Uh, the public uh, entrance to City Hall has been designated as the Wall Street entrance. Uh, yesterday, we designated a separate employee entrance uh, to separate uh, the number of individuals walking through the same location. Uh, employees will start using the East Alley entrance to City Hall. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Now we'll hear from Public Information Officer Molly Nolte. Good morning, Public Information Officer Molly Nolte. The city will continue to provide updates about city services, closures, and other helpful community information on the city's website via our press release emails on Facebook and Twitter. You can sign up for city press releases at the city's website slash email lists. This is a really good way to get updated information from the city, and you can always send us a message on Facebook. We will get back to you. The city has created a unique web page in response to this incident for community support, frequently asked questions, economic development and business support information, as well as up-to-date CDC information. Please visit our website slash COVID-19. And remember to get your information from credible sources. The City of Janesville trusts government sanctioned sites like the CDC and the Wisconsin Department of Health Services to ensure that we're getting the best and most up-to-date information. And don't forget, if you have any other questions, you can always call the city's community support hotline. That's every day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The phone number is 608-373-6027. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. Now we'll hear from Finance and Administration Chief Mandy Price. 
Good morning, Mandy Price, Finance and Administration Section Chief. The EOC response team has logged 1,529 hours to date, and we've captured expenditures of $84,275.60. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Now we'll hear from Captain Tom Bruner, our safety officer. Tom Bruner, safety officer. I just want to remind everybody to clean their hands often. Uh, wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially if you've been in a public place, blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If you don't have soap and water, please use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% of alcohol. And avoid touching your eyes, nose, mouth with uh, unwashed hands. Continue to avoid close contact. Maintain social distancing. Create a space between yourself. Uh, avoid contact with sick people. This is especially important for those who are at higher risk of getting sick. And then facilities and workspaces. Workspaces and residences should be cleaned thoroughly on a daily basis or as needed with approved EPA cleansers. And especially those high touch surface areas should be cleaned with a higher frequency. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Now we'll hear from Incident Commander Chief Ernie Rhodes. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Ernie Rhodes, Incident Commander for the city of Janesville COVID-19. It's real obvious that we are out of our habit right now, and so it's important that you create a new norm, create a new routine. Part of getting through disasters is your resilience, and your resilience includes, okay, so maybe you can't go to Starbucks every day, so what do you do for that workaround? How do you, how do you fix something, or how do you change your habit to where it, it creates that routine every day for you? It's so important to, to keep a positive mental attitude. Uh, don't be down, because Here's the good news. The critical infrastructure is in place. The supply chain is working. The lights are working. Your cell phone works. The cable works. The internet works. Our streets are safe. And, and our city services are, are up and running. So, so it's just going to be a time thing, and it's going to take you out of your routine. Uh, give each other a grace, love each other, and keep a positive attitude. That being said is... If you notice your neighbor uh, next door maybe isn't moving around much or they're an older uh, adult or family uh, and you think that maybe there's a problem, please call our hotline at the city of Janesville at 608-373-6027. From an economic recovery perspective, uh, city manager Mark Freitag, day two of this event, directed economic development to start the recovery process. So if you're looking for recovery information, uh, go to the city's website. There's a green ribbon on top and click that ribbon and it'll take you to the appropriate links. I'm really pleased to say the Emergency Operations Center is up and running. It is best practices according to the National Incident Management System. We are truly using an incident command system approach and managing by objectives. And I feel very confident that we are prepared uh, to address this issue and are very prepared to maintain essential city services. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Rhodes. Our final brief this morning will be provided by Janesville City Manager Mark Freitag. Thank you, Dwayne, and good morning, everybody. I uh, just wanted to provide some perspective on uh, how the city team is coming together uh, to uh, to work as a team, uh, providing those essential services um, and keeping this community safe. Uh, I got an email yesterday from uh, our library director, Brian McCormick, and I was just copied. He was sending it to all of his employees, and I wanted to share it with you because I think it uh, it speaks to the kind of teamwork and the kind of leadership uh, that we have in the city of Janesville. So he sends this uh, yesterday to his employees. As expected, many requests for absentee ballots have come in, and the clerk treasurer's office is going to need more help getting this essential city service completed. We already have several assisting, but they need to increase that number to eight a day. Be prepared to be called in to assist over at City Hall. I'll coordinate and see if we can get a schedule put together for the next two weeks so you'll know ahead of time. A couple of items. Yes, the governor will be ordering non-essential businesses closed. We already are closed to the public, performing limited services. However, there is still work to be done within the city of Janesville that is essential, and they need our help to get it done. Glad to see staff keeping busy at home with work, training, etc. but that is all secondary to assisting the city when the call comes in. 
Thanks to everyone who emailed uh, in this morning with your status. Please continue to do so for the foreseeable future. And so folks, when we've got teamwork like that happening inside the city of Janesville, we're just not gonna lose. Uh, and so I just want you, uh, the EOC members to certainly know, certainly our city employees and any community members that are listening in, that the city is working superbly. Uh, we've got teamwork, we've got professionalism, we've got empathy, uh, and we are gonna get the community through uh, this uh, current pandemic. And so uh, with that, uh, I'll uh, sign off and turn it back over to Dwayne, but um, just remember the city of Janesville team is doing all that it can uh, professionally to serve this community. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. This concludes our community briefing for March 24th. Thank you for uh, tuning in this morning.